Oh, look at all those pathetic goonishes down there. Oh, that's so sad. I'm up here with my ivory tower. Bastions. It's sad, really. I would feel bad for you if I didn't feel so good being me. All right. Today is a... How's a TD? Now I'm gonna say something, and tank destroyers are something that are playing a specific rule in this game. And I find out a lot of people in this game play this tank, or any of these tanks, completely fucking wrong. And they don't even realize it. Yeah, they might exit the game with 5k damage, but most, you know, most of the time they find themselves losing that game or it's a draw or they're dead before the timer hits fucking four minutes. Now, I want to be <clears throat> honest here. Not every game is going to work with what I'm about to say. So this is a how to play tank destroyers. Um, the first thing you need to realize is that you're not a heavy tank. You're not a medium. You're not a light tank. What does that mean? You have one role as a tank destroyer and that is to stay back. And sometimes even in heavy, ta heavy tank destroyers, just like the Yag Tiger or even the tier T-30, People say, you know, okay, well, T-30 has an exception because it can kind of play front line, haul down type of shit. True. But your main goal in a tank destroyer, no matter what TD you're playing, is to dish out as much damage as humanly possible before your team is able to react. So, basically, this gun you want to keep in the game as long as possible because the last thing the enemy wants is a TD staying alive for too long because you're gonna kill them. Because mo one thing that TDs usually have is DPM and damage and penetration. Which means if you're spotted, you're gonna get focused because you're the main threat at that given time. But yes, the main goal is you to dish out as much damage as humanly possible before the enemy is able to react, which can win you the game. Another thing you gotta realize is that tank destroyers are a key component to every match when they're in there. If you have one TD, I don't care if it's one tank destroyer, you want to keep that gun in the game as long as possible. That means if you're in a position and I even go against this rule sometimes because I'm an idiot. But if you're in a position in a tank destroyer, let's say the Hori, and you get spotted, get the fuck out of there. Because you want to live to fight another day. Because every single second, every time you get shot, is another second you're not going to survive. Because TDs do not have much HP. And that gun you have is going to be very versatile when it comes to winning a game. I don't know how many games I've seen where the enemies thought they won and there was only one or two TDs left, but they've ended up wiping the game because they stay alive and they were able to keep dishing out that damage. Um, another thing is with tank destroyers, don't go by yourself. Stay with your team. I've seen a lot of tank destroyers that go up and perch on a mountain or in a bush somewhere on the opposite side of the map where the team isn't. And the first thing that happens as the TD gets rushed by mediums and shit and dies. And that is just a no-no. You want to stay with your team no matter what. If it's, I don't care if it's, <clears throat> if, if it's just not a good play. I don't care if it's Himseldorf and you have to go fucking heavy route. And they're moving forward, you move up with them. Because if you don't and you get caught behind, you're the one gonna, you're the one that's gonna die. And you do not wanna have that, you know, as a an outcome. I'm gonna play a game. 
in regular mode and show you what I mean. Now we're going to play a normal TD. Like... Like, let's play the ISG 130. A decent TD tank destroyer has no armor, you know, whatsoever, but it's a tank destroyer role. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. And we could lose this or we can win this game. Doesn't matter. But what I'm trying to show here is that your position matters most. Your position, keeping that gun in the game and dishing out as much damage as humanly possible. And not only that, clearing enemies with no HP. Make sure they're gone. Dynasty Pearl. If I had a guess, this map is terrible for TDs. Reason why? There is actually not many places a Team Destroyer can actually get in a good position on this map. You're always open to fire, which really sucks in this case. You know, looking at our team, they want to go this way. We have no mediums, so that leaves our left flank kind of open. Not too big of a deal, we just have to stay out of arm's way, but also try to dish out as much damage as possible. <clears throat> now, I'm going to go through here, because if I go that way, I'm going to get absolutely ripped apart. Now, another thing. That, that shot was insane. Okay, that <laughs> was a lucky shot. Most times, that ain't going to hit, obviously, but this is a situation where where we're the ones that are going to have to... Or we should be careful, because this E-75, if he decides to push up through here, and I'm caught, I'm, I'm going to die, because... Now, he's not paying attention to me at the moment, so I'm going to try to roll up and get a shot. Mmm, I'm lucky. Okay, so now we're, now we're open, so we can move. Being as a tank destroyer, you do not want to be caught in the open. But you always want to have that gun in a good position. Now, I'm counting my tanks right now, too. I have five tanks spotted, which means there is two somewhere that I have not found. Now, they could be sitting back there, or they could be flanking around, and if they're flanking around, that's a bad thing. See? Right there. Right there, see that guy? Bad news. Now we got the E75 moving up. My wiggle. Try to bounce his shot. That was a lucky bounce. You gotta watch out though, there is a waffle tracker flanking around from the rear. Now we're gonna push this guy and try to clear him because I have the DPM advantage, I can clear him. Now I don't. Okay. Now we gotta get out of harm's way because that 75 is focusing me because I'm the only one in sight at the moment. And he knows I have a dangerous gun, hence his HP pool. <laughs> He's focusing me right at the moment. So now, another thing is, if you're in a situation like this, you wait for the enemy to shoot. Right there, he shot. Back out. Load HE, because he's side scraping. You? We wait. Now, we have the upper hand. This guy doesn't get in my way. He's literally in my way. I can't get a shot. Never mind, never mind. See? That worked out. <laughs> he has a 4v3, I did not see him there. <laughs> but he missed, and that was a lucky miss for him. An unlucky miss because I did not see him there because of the smoke. Another thing, pay attention to your mini map at all times. So there's two enemies left, there's two over here, full health up 112. We have 800 HP. I'm gonna try to clear this Borsig. And that's a game one right there. And why did we win? Because we didn't let the enemy get a chance to get a drop on us too much. We had a couple of drops on us, but I saw that waffle tracker before he had a chance to do anything. Ah, oh, fudge. Okay. He's got him. <laughs> now it's a win right there. And that's an epic, that's a really good example. Um, 
when you get a crappy map. You know, that was a bad map. Really, it was a terrible map to play a TV on. And look, I mastered the tank. I don't even know how the fuck that's a mastery, but... Um... But to be honest, the one way to win games in a tank destroyer is to not die 30 seconds into the game. You want to keep that gun in the game as long as possible. I don't care if you get no shots. You want to keep that gun in the game because it comes in handy. And that DPM. Now we're going to play another game in another tank. Let's say like a Scorpion G. No armor whatsoever, another tank where you want to really stay back, because if you, you ain't going to get those lucky bounces like that one from that E-75. <laughs> Perfect map. And now, now this is awesome, because this map has one key spot for a tank destroyer, and that's that bush over there. Now, when I get spotted... Because I'm going to, most likely, I'm going to dip. I'm going to do exactly as I'm supposed to and get the balls out of dodge. Because you know, having this tank with no armor, one HE shot from that fucking, you know, that other Scorpion G or something like that is going to hurt like hell. 600 damage right there. Three tanks are spotted. Looks like their heavies are going left. There's a spear right there. Got a shot on him. A bit get back, yep. Now we're. I need our. Um, war tanks are spotted. Their TDs ain't spotted yet, so I'm guessing they're probably camping back. So I'm gonna come back up. Just so far in the beginning of the game. Let's see if the CDC makes a mistake. AT 15. Okay, we didn't get spotted there. You're a fucking idiot! Uh, another thing. You're gonna have people like that in a Smasher that, um, wanna play as a tank destroyer. Um, we're gonna have a how-to video on heavy tanks soon as well. And that's a scorpion looking at my ass right now. And I'm going to tell you one thing right now, that is not how you play Smasher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go over here and support this AMX. See, another thing about the Scorpion is you got to know about certain TDs. They have speed. So you can get in position and help your teammates. Like that. I just saved that guy's life. You got to be ready to move and you got to be ready to support your team because you never know be around that corner. Now, we still don't know where their other tank destroyer is. Actually, no, I do. We just last saw him back there in the corner. Over there on that side, so. Oh, that's an unfortunate shot. I should have aimed in better. AT-15. Bad news. Do not, do not want to be anywhere near his gun. Why I say that is because he has like 3,000 DPM, he will rip me apart. So we're gonna just relocate somewhere else. We do not wanna be trading shots with him, cause he'll win. Now we're gonna try to get a shot. Unfortunately, Smasher died, but his fault, he shouldn't have been alone. That's, that's a mistake he made. Now we might be able to finish him off. There we go. There we go, alright. KV-5 right there, I can tell that he's not focused on me, so I'm going to try to get a shot on him. Now we got to remember, there's a Scorpion G somewhere as well. Okay, this at this point we need to rush in and we need to take out this KV-5. So the only thing that's left is that scorpion and we can easily take this kb5 out small gun very troll armor and there's the scorpion g so yeah that's another thing you serious 
This tank has no armor, so playing tank destroyers that have no armor, you want to stay behind cover, even in situations like this. Now we could easily, we could easily rush this guy and kill him, but most chances I'm going to be the one getting killed because I have no armor and I'm the, one of the most dangerous on the team still. The Scorpion knows that I have a nasty gun because he's using the same tank. Now we're going to try to flank around here. Knowing that he has no armor, we're going to use HE on him. He is basically almost dead already. There you go. And that's another win. Yeah, playing tank destroyers, you always want to try to stay alive. I don't care if you've done only 1,000 damage that game. You want to try to stay alive, because if you do, that's just going to increase your team's chance of winning, especially when it comes down to the, the last result. Like, if I wasn't there, that Scorpion could have picked off the rest of our teammates. Because he was a one-shot, fucking... Our LT was a one-shot, and our Type 59 was a one-shot, if I remember right. Scorpion could have easily won that game. I was a one-shot, too. But, playing as a TD, I have camo advantage. So, that is how you play tank destroyers. You gotta remember to keep that gun in the game. Always try, always pay attention to the minimap, and stay with your team.